I'm Mike Caudill, and this is Geared Up to Go RVing. All right, so one of the number one questions I always get about our RV is how to break it down. What is it like to drive something that's an almost 40 feet in length? So the breakdown out of all of the content that we provide when it comes to RVing, this is the most critical part, is how to get your RV broken down and ready to go because I've made every mistake in the book. So the first thing with this one right here, and this is a Winnebago Forza, I've got my generator still running, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling in my awnings. So my awnings are gonna start coming in and I'm gonna pull both of them in right now. It's the first thing that I do when I get ready to break down my RV because I have driven away with an awning out before. This one's on a timer right here. So once this one's in, now I'm done. So this one's gonna keep coming in right now. I'm gonna bring you guys inside. This is critical. Always shut your bathroom doors and keep them shut for the drive because this has the potential of moving when you're on the road. Keep it nice and tight. You're gonna to wanna to keep it all buttoned down. Every button for every door goes and gets connected because they will slide when you're on turns. So I'll come right in here. And now I gotta bring my slides in. So if I go to my slide, you're gonna notice it says ignition is required, right? So as you start to plan your breakdown, you know that you need to go up and you need to put your vehicle in the on position. Now I'm started. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring in the slides. That beeping is gonna go on until I bring in all my slides. The first one I bring in is in the back of the motorhome. I've checked under the floors. I've checked everything to make sure there's nothing in the way of this slide coming in. And I actually really like, as I'm pulling this in, I like that alarm. That alarm tells me that I've got um, the slides coming in. So the next one I'm gonna bring in is the slide on my passenger side. So now this slide, and it's gonna start getting real tight in here for the team that's given us a quick, uh, quick video on this. So you're gonna bring this whole slide in right here on the right. So now if you think about it as I, I rehash, the awnings are now in, I've got my right side completely in, now it's time to bring in my left side. So as I bring in my left side, I'm looking right now to make sure I've got everything out of the way. There's nothing in the way. Oh, what is this? We always sweep everything out on the inside. So now I'll move it to the other side, knowing that I'm getting ready to pull this slide in. Now we bring in this slide. Everything is fully protected. Everything's off the floor. Slides are gonna come all the way in and the motorhome's gonna get tight. Now, before we get ready to go, everything's all in. I check it all. I make sure everything that I need to be put away is put away and nothing is gonna slide. So now that I look at it, now I'm gonna come up here. Now I've got some really interesting things that I have to do. I'm actually not ready to go yet because my, my jacks are still down. So with my Lippert auto level, this is my electronic auto leveling. I know my slides are in and you don't ever want to drop your jacks while your slides are out because they can come off the rails. It's too much weight to put on your jacks. So now that everything's in and I've got the awnings in, now it's time to do the auto retract. So now I'm gonna hit the auto retract. You'll hear it fill with some air. Bags are filling. And now as these are filling, there's nothing left for me to do inside. So now I'm gonna go outside. I'm now starting to just check and make sure that I've got nothing in the way. Come all the way around. You're gonna walk the whole entire RV. You can see the jacks just dropped it down. I'm checking this whole side. I'm seeing nothing in my way. There's only one thing left. Jacks are now up, slides are in. I know a lot of people that do not lock their hatches. I lock every one of my hatches. It's just my own safety protocol and I go all the way around the RV and I make sure all of the hatches are facing sideways. Again, gotta be sideways. Now I know these are locked. I come around this side and I make one run. Locked, 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 and locked. So at least one thing left. Let's go drive. Here we go.
All right, so driving 101. And there are a couple things to take into consideration with a big Class A like this. Now, this is a diesel Class A, which means the motor is in the back of this RV. What's unique about diesels is they come with air brakes, and those air brakes are critical, and that's a button up here that I can press, and that air brake actually helps me stop this RV without me having to touch the brakes. So when I actually take my foot off the gas, it's actually gonna slow the vehicle automatically, and that's really important because you're carrying so much weight and so much volume with this RV. So as we roll our way out into the street, we're always thinking about safety. I know this guy's in the slow lane. So when you drive this, you're gonna drive it similar to a car, but you gotta know that your width is wider than anything else on the road. You're like a diesel truck, so it's just important to drive comfortably. Drive now the beauty in, a, in this big Class A, this Winnebago Forza from Campers Inn, one of my favorite features is actually down here. This pedal actually allows me to adjust my steering wheel while driving. And I can get it in the pancake style, which is up on top. I love this makes it super easy for me. I've got Bluetooth uh, speakers in here. So I've got, I've got a Bluetooth head unit in here and I love that. And it's all touch screen as well. So I can connect my phone to it. I can actually do phone calls in here and it broadcasts inside the cab. So it's nice and easy as well. Something to think about when you're driving an RV this big is you always have to think about where you're gonna be making your turns at. You have to methodically and strategically plan out how you want to, where you want to turn and how you want to turn because you're moving 40 feet in length. So when you're driving this, you're taking much wider turns. But I know right now, like for me, I have to be very specific on where I make my U-turn. So with my width, I better make sure I don't cross over here with all this oncoming traffic, but I know that I can slide down this street. Again, it's all about like mentally preparing where you're going to make that turn at. stares at you in a big RV like this. They're like, man, that dude's coming in a bus. So as I'm turning and going down this, you're gonna to wanna to check this out right here on the monitor. So if I'm turning right, it's gonna show me the right side of the RV. If I'm turning left, it's gonna show me the left side of the RV. That was very cool. So that's a camera mounted in here and that camera shows you. One of my other super favorite features is if I come to a complete stop, this is amazing for this RV right here. Is that if I come to a complete stop and there's nobody behind me, I put it in neutral and I put it in reverse, I got a reverse camera. It takes a second, but that reverse camera will come up and I can go backwards. Yeah. Now I can, I don't look at, I need to look out my mirrors. I know I need to look out my mirrors for distance, but I don't need to look out my mirrors for what's right behind me in the RV. And that is what is super cool. This thing's got so many cool bells and whistles. See how I'm way out over here to the left? Because I know that I need to cut to stay in the slow lane with all this traffic. So if I come out wide left, now I know I'm in that slow lane, not having to creep into the fast lane. I really like to be patient when driving. The one thing about RVing, and I was telling somebody this yesterday, is that you do not want to rush. Rushing is, there's no reason. Why do I want to ruin this? I want to be like, I want to be totally cool when I'm driving it. And you hammer down, cruise control, it's awesome in this. Nice horn. <laughs> this is what we do, team. This is how we row.